What's up guys, welcome back to another Zer video. Obviously he is on Titan, which is a flashpoint. It should be pretty easy. You can go to the director, hit up Titan, and he should have his little emblem like he has above his head. You can actually track it to actually find him. It shouldn't be too difficult to see where he is. Okay, let's see what he has. So first up, we have the Faded Engram. Gives you an exotic you don't have. Essentially, if there's an exotic down here that you do not have yet, pick this up first before you pick this up, because it might give you this. If this already gives you an exotic you already have, that means you have every single exotic. So just in the future, now you know. So you don't have to pick it up and... I basically just waste some legendary shards all right let's move on so it looks like the hunter we have the mechaneers trick sleeves now these got improved in the 1.2.1 update so spring loaded mounting increases sidearm ready and reload speed while you're critically wounded swapping to a sidearm increases its damage i actually have some footage of this which i'll be dropping a review on this exotic gauntlet it's I'm not saying it's like super good. Obviously, it's very situational when you get weak, but you do get quick draw and super fast reloading on this thing. It's pretty awesome. Um, I think with the Vision Sidearm, the new uh, Future World Cult one, if you have Kill Clip active and you whip it out, you could do 47 damage to the head, which is a two burst with body shots. So it does have some viability in there depending on what sidearm you are using. I think it's like more of a, it's definitely a crutch exotic definitely a panic exotic but still uh it's definitely not the meta and it's nothing like a warm husk crown or anything like that so if you pick it up and use it and you're good with it awesome moving on looks like the titan we have the syntheseps uh these also got updated in the 1.2.1 update as well so biotic enhancements increased melee lunge range improved melee and super damage when surrounded so basically uh when you're surrounded by enemies biotic enhancements pops up and you do some extra damage essentially once you get your first kill you can almost one hit somebody if they have a little bit of their shield down which is pretty cool I will be dropping a review on this thing as well, uh, just because it's been updated. Melee range, dude, you get like double melee range, so you can like superman people from halfway. <laughs> like, if you think you can't melee them, you might be able to. I've done it to where it's pre some pretty ridiculous minutes. This is probably the best Titan Exotic hands down, and I highly recommend picking it up. I'll drop a review if you guys want to check that out. All right, next we have the Karnstein Armlets, which will be receiving an update uh, here in the near future in 1.2.3. Right now, as Vampire's Caress, melee attacks grant increased resilience and mobility, and they highlight injured enemies. Melee curls greatly restore health. So uh, these things are kind of weird. So basically, this kind of gives you like that Voidwalker, like the Voidwalker Devourer effect without actually having to use Voidwalker. Like you can actually use like Stormcaller or Dawnblade or anything like that. They are getting a little bit of a change in the future, so uh, I have a feeling they're going to be a lot better in the future. I think I have the ornament for it, actually, so we can actually put that on. kind of makes it, like, black, like a matte black, kind of. So uh, I don't think these things are horrible. I actually used them a lot in the beginning, but now that there's all these other exotics that I believe are a lot better, um, I would just pick them up and wait for the update, and then we'll be able to see if they're good or not. So weapon-wise, we have the Jade Rabbit Scout Rifle. This thing came over from D1. Check out the perks. It's called the Fate of All Fools. Chain body shots to gain bonus damage on your next precision shot and return ammo to the magazine. You have polygonal rifling, arm piercing rounds, and then zen moments. So causing damage with this weapon increases its stability. It's kind of weird. It only has four perks. Usually something has some sort of stock over here. You can masterwork it, and you need to find. It's only found by earning victory in the crucible. It's a completely random drop uh, with this thing. So I I heard somebody say you have to get a triple down with it. Like I don't know. It's pretty weird. But I do have the ornament for it. I like the ornament. Yes, I like it a lot. It's pretty cool. It has like all these little logos on it, like uh, the Clovis Bray, Gunsmith, uh, Vanguard, Raid, uh, a bunch of other things like that. Overall, I think this weapon is okay. I think it's the best 150 round per minute scout rifle just because if you do miss some of your headshots, it kind of makes up for it um, whenever you hit a headshot, if you change some body shots first, so you get that extra damage, so it kind of makes up for it. Uh, I know a lot of people use this, especially for a competitive, because you could kind of go on the flank and really go down some long lanes with this thing. It has a lot of range and a lot of stability, I think, so... This thing is pretty solid in my opinion. All right, moving on, consumer wise, we have the Three of Coins, which gives you an increased chance to receive exotic engrams from sources in the world and it lasts four hours. And they have the legendary Nightfall Challenge card. If you have the rare one, that's cool. If you want to keep that, this one you can pick up. It does allow for more. So first thing, you can pick a Singe. Second thing, you can either pick an Advantage or Disadvantage. Advantage, there's only three of them versus all the Disadvantage ones. But in the last two, you can put as Disadvantages. It'll affect your score multiplier. So you can actually have it to where you can have a really high score multiplier plus a really high handicap and be able to hit a really big score with this um oh whatever five of swords legendary knifehold challenge card all right guys that seems to be it for zur if you want to help support me there'll be a link below say best way to support me i'll take to a four minute video something crazy if you want to go check that out that'd be awesome but if you don't do that you can always like this video 
subscribe to the channel, share this video, turn the notification bell next subscribe if you know if I want to drop some content on the channel, and then comment you guys want to see a logo. I'm making content for you also, everyone see. I will drop some content on it as quickly as possible. Also, the Discord link is below. There's no requirements. You don't have to be part of the clan or anything like that. All you have to do is press it and you should be able to join it. Nothing crazy. Um, we do have some chats going on about some new games. Obviously, Dusty 2 Forsaken, Division 2. Um, like Things like Anthem, that game. I'm super excited for Anthem now. Like After I saw like the footage of it, I'm like, oh yes, I'm hype for Anthem. So, yeah, if you want to go down there, check that out. That'd be awesome. If you want to talk to me or anybody else that's in the clan or anything about joining or becoming an admin or just like, I don't know, if you want to do something, just hit me up. You should be able to talk to me like basically like in person. That'd be pretty cool. All right, guys, so enjoy this video. We'll catch you next time.